you adjust the frequency and volume a bit? Volume a bit? Startups, originators, musica, cultura, the arts, politica, sports, news, technology, crime, tragedy, comedy, lahat ng makabuluhan. We are your independent podcast content creator, straight from the Philippine Islands. Mabuhay. You're listening to podcast.ph. Welcome to the 26th episode of Martin's Man Cave on podcast.ph. You may listen to us through several ways, and one is by going to our official website, podcast.ph. You can also download us on iTunes. Just type podcast.ph programs or go to our YouTube or soundcloud.com accounts. So just type podcast.ph. Please add, like, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Our guest today was known as the paper or stationary king before he ventured into the hybrid rice business, among many other businesses, which even made him more wealthy. But what is a revelation is his desire to help the needy farmers of this country. Dr. Henry Limbon Leong was born on September 4, 1951. In Manila, his parents are Lim Seling and Maria Ko. He has six siblings, namely Joseph, Willie, Charlie, Jerry, Ruben, and Evelyn. He is married to Rita Ong, and they have five children, namely Michelle, Cherry, Christopher, Hazel, and Pauline. Currently chairman and chief executive officer of the Sterling B uh, Paper Group of Companies, which is a diversified super business engage in manufacturing of paper products, importation and distribution of school and office supplies, furnitures, retailing, call center, real estate development, and agriculture. The group is comprised of the following corporations. Sterling Paper Products Enterprises Incorporated, Central Bookstore Incorporated, Expression Stationery Shop Incorporated, SB Properties Incorporated, SL Agritech Corporation, Sterling Global Call Center Incorporated, LSL Corporation and SL Hybrid Rice Research Center, Incorporated. Our guest finished uh, his grade school at the Crusaders Academy Manila, 1963, and high school at the Latron College Manila, 1967. He took up his uh, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering at the University of the Philippines in 1972, and uh, postgraduate. Uh, executive courses at the Harvard Business School in 2003 up to 2005. He finished there uh, the owner and president management program and at the University of Asian Pacific in 1992 a, a program on strategic business economics. Uh, he also has a, a doctor of humanities honoris causa at the Foundation University in 2013 and he also received Another one, a Doctor of Science at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines in 2014. Among the many awards uh, our guests received are Most Promising Entrepreneur Award in 2014 by Enterprise Asia, Finalist for Asia C Awards in 2013, The Bossing of 2011, Heroes of Business and Filipino Pride by PLDT SME Nation, Ulirang Ama, Sectoral Awardee for Business and Industry, uh, that was back in 2009. Finalist for Entrepreneur of the Year, 2005 by Ernst and & Young. And awardee uh, in 2004, Silver Anniversary Award for Entrepreneurship Category. And uh, so many more uh, awards. He headed the Lim family in the donation of more than 40 school buildings in Bulacan, Cavite, Cagayan, Isabela, Mindoro Bohol, Davao Oriental, Laguna, as well as donations to the Philippine General Hospital and Orphanage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hybrid rice king himself, Dr. Henry Lim Bon Leong. Uh, thank you so much for accepting our invites here in podcast.ph. It's my honor, Martin. Wow. Uh, and dami niyo pong, ano sir? Uh, and dami niyo nagawa sa buhay ninyo, no? I mean, you've, you've, you've crossed from, from paper to... Uh, call center and now you're doing uh, uh, business which involves planting rice and you're, you're, you're basically revolutionizing 
the rice industry in the Philippines. But before we get to that, you know, we want to find out and we want to know uh, where it all began. I want you to talk about your parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Martin. Uh, my parents, uh, of course, my father came here when he was uh, only 11 years old. Uh, together with my uh, with my grandmother. Uh, mm -hmm. My mother was born here, Tagapako yon. Uh -huh. uh, and then uh, she lives near the Palenque. That's why my mother is very well versed uh, with uh, our local dialect. And uh, because I was born here, I uh, used to stay in Malabon for for a short while. And I still remember, I think, uh, according to my mother, my our neighbors were the, the Diaz family, the Gloria Diaz and all these things. And then, of course, and then I moved to Binondo and uh, spent around 10 years in Binondo, and then we moved to Caloacan. You know, I've gone through so many uh, stages. I studied uh, in Chinese uh, schools mm -hmm. also, Quisera's Academy, Chiang Kai-shek, and then I went to Letran, UP. You know, uh, I think I'm mm -hmm. a mixture of both uh, Eastern and Western, of course, uh -huh. uh, my Eastern, uh, my Chinese heritage uh, during my early years, and then mm -hmm. of course the Western education. So your father was born in China, and uh, he moved to the Philippines. Was this during the Cultural Revolution in China? No, no, no. It was very early. It was uh, way back uh -huh. in 1938. I still remember there was uh, that was the beginning of the uh, uh, Chinese-Japanese War. Uh -huh. And then uh, you know uh -huh. my father has eight brothers. No, there, there are eight in the family. All mm -hmm. of them are boys. My grandmother was saying, oh, you know, in China, if there's a war, everybody uh, fights. will have to uh, be a reserve uh, mm. troops. And then my, my grandmother said, look, all of me are, are boys, no? All of them will be recruited, no? And none is going to be. So mm. they took some of them, and uh, they came to the Philippines. That's where my father uh, started here in the Philippines. Mm. So yung kasama ng father mo? Yung, yung the the mo. other siblings are also uh, here, yeah. The other siblings are also here. And then when your father came to the Philippines, what was his first uh, job? What what did he do? How did he become, or was he as successful as you well, are? Well, actually, my, uh -huh. my, my father came here and uh, he studied uh -huh. uh, also in uh, some Chinese school here. Uh -huh. uh, but my father was only able to to finish only up to high school. High I school. think second mm -hmm. year, third year high school. And mm -hmm. then there was the Japanese war, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in the war, everybody runs, whatever. I think my, mm -hmm. my father also go to Lucena or even up to Mm -hmm. places in Mindoro to hide and uh, after the war my father started I mean uh, I think it was at that time was only 21 years old uh -huh. and uh, he has a savings of around 5,000 pesos so he, with uh, some friends he was able to put up a small bookstore in Binondo uh -huh. it was a Chinese bookstore in Binondo okay. and we cater to the Chinese community and my father would travel to Shanghai wow. to buy uh, uh, magazines uh, books even long playing records at that time, the Chinese song here, and sell it in Binondo. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, uh, at that time we have a modest, uh, modest store already in Ompin. Uh, I was kidding my father a number of times. I said, Dad, do you know that you cater to the wrong market? At that time when my father was putting up that central bookstore in Binondo, uh -huh. I think Mrs. Ramos was also starting her national bookstore. Mm -hmm. I said, look, if you cater to the Filipino market, I mean, uh, maybe we'll be as big as national bookstore. But uh -huh. I think we cater to the to the wrong market because the the, the Chinese, I mean, uh, not the population, uh, but the studying Chinese is getting yeah. lesser and lesser. Mm -hmm, no? mm -hmm. But then uh, we started with a very modest uh, uh, bookstore, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know, because of the retail uh, liberalization act of uh, of uh, Maxai Sai, present Maxai Sai. Mm -hmm. The Chinese cannot do uh, li uh, retail business, mm -hmm. so my father decided to go into manufacturing. Oh, that's right. how sterling paper came about. So mm -hmm. it's it's your father who started it all, and uh, what was the participation of your mother? You know, my mother is a housewife, but my mother is the best plant manager we ever had. Uh, when we started uh, to do manufacturing, we just hired uh, to. Uh, Two mates, no. Uh, the first product that we came out was a photo album. So. Uh -huh. And then the photo albums before we had to use also photo corners, just a black paper, with some glass in. So my mother was leading two or three of the mates uh -huh. to just manufacture photo albums. So of course, we blossomed into around 45 workers, 50 workers, mm -hmm. and so many workers later on. And my mother was still the plant manager. He, she was the one in charge of the production. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The best plant manager. The best plant manager. And, and then, um, most of your 
uh, siblings, are they involved in this uh, Sterling group of companies or have you uh, uh, bought them out? No, no, no. Uh, this is still a family business. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, my mother mm-hmm. and fa- uh, my, my parents uh, prohibit us. Uh, uh-huh. We cannot even sell out to any uh, any third outsiders, party uh-huh. outsiders. No, mm-hmm. it just will remain within the family. Wow, wow. No. Um, w- what are the, the values and the principles that your parents uh, left you? You know, I'm being the eldest. Uh, of course, my, my father passed away quite young. I mean, he was only 49 years old when he passed away. Wow. That was in 1976. And he passed, uh, passed away? Uh, uh, suddenly. I mean, uh, it's a, a business trip in Hong Kong. I mean, uh, he has pneumonia, and then, of course, in a matter of a few days, he passed away in Hong Kong. So, you know, he did not leave any words whatever with us. And at that time, mm-hmm. I'm the eldest in the family, and, of course, I finished my college already, and it was around 20 three or 24 years old, and my mm-hmm. second brother, Joseph, has just uh, freshly graduated also from UP. Uh-huh. So we have to take up the cultures now. Of course, my, my mother at that time was so sad. Uh, that's why all the responsibility rests upon my shoulder. And my uh-huh. father... 1972. 1976. 76. Uh-huh. And uh, you know that... I do not know if you believe in what uh, we call as... Uh, you know, my father left without saying a word to us. I mean, at that time, it was martial law. I mean, my mm-hmm. father was able to obtain exit permit to go abroad. All of us are here. And then, you know, I have a brother who is very gifted, who can have spirits from the other world. I oh, mean, well, was a third eye. And then, uh, you know, my father came through him to speak to us one month after he passed away. And, what and then he, he left us uh, with four family values that, he said that we should always remember that and we have to put it uh, uh, into, uh, of course, uh, foundations of our, our business. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, the first word was uh, was loyalty. I mean, you have to be loyal to your commitment. Of course, loyalty to the country's commitment. And uh, I think maybe that also included uh, loyalty yeah. to your spouses also. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> 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 All right, so, lo- loyalty yeah, to everyone. Yeah, maybe, maybe uh, also for uh, for the, uh, those people working to you, loyalty to your bosses. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. And uh, the second one is really uh, obedience, no? uh, filial piety. No? I mean, uh, you have to really uh, respect the elders, and then take care also of the younger. That's also very important. Mm-hmm. So you have loyalty, uh, obedience, mm-hmm. and then the third is patience. No? You have to got patience. Uh-huh. Even if people spits at you or whatever, you just remain patient and then you just one step backward. Uh, I mean, everybody, everything's going to be okay. So that's mm-hmm. patience. Mm-hmm. And the last word was uh, really generosity or magnanimity. Mm-hmm. So that's why we donated school buildings. We give out so many things also to the orphanage, mm-hmm. to the Philippine General Hospital. And that is what my father taught us to do. And I'll repeat it again. It was uh, it's uh, loyalty, loyalty, obedience, obedience patience, patience, and generosity. And generosity. Uh, this has been our guiding uh, principle. No. So this is the reason why you've been you've been going around the country and been helping the farmers uh, uh, improve their uh, productivity. Yes, uh, absolutely. I, I mingle with the farmers. I mean, I am more with charts uh, going outside, uh-huh, uh-huh. especially together with the farmers. Uh, at one time, I mean, uh, when uh, we were doing this har- harvest festival, uh, there was a lady farmer who came to me, and then he embraces me. Mm-hmm. And then I said, oh. A lady farmer. A lady farmer. I said, I have a father. I have Baka, ano, baka uh-huh. akong itak ng Mr. Mo. Uh-huh. And then the husband was actually uh, uh-huh. standing nearby. You know, the husband came over also embraces me. I mean, both of them embraces me. I mean, that's that's where you you feel that you are being recharged. That there are farm uh-huh. there are farmers who are really uh, uh, they feel so thankful now because of what you are uh-huh. doing, improving the standard of living, increasing the production. Uh-huh. Some of our listeners may not know this, um, uh, the first time to have heard your name, but Mr. Henry Lim Bonlion is uh, one of the uh, main advocates of hybrid rice in this country. And uh, he runs I- Agritech, right? Agritech. SL, and, SL actually is an initial of my father. Mm, SL, yeah. Agritech. Uh, uh, Agritech. And we will, we will be discussing that 
more later on. Let's talk about your wife. Uh, where did you meet your wife? Uh, she well, she she's Ko, so she. No, no, my 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 mother's Ko. Oh, your mother's my, Ko. Oh, yeah. My wife's yeah. Ong. 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 Yeah. So your your wife was born here in the Philippines, or uh, yes, in Aparica Gayan. Aparica Gayan, and um, uh, full Chinese, full blooded Chinese. Yes, full Chinese. What uh, looks like a Filipino. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is her involvement in your uh, business? Actually, uh, during the early years, I mean, uh, all the wives uh, were involved in business, mm-hmm. and then I said. Passes through, and then my my uh, you know you know we used to stay together in the compound in Kalokan, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and then uh, my mother was telling us, you know, everybody has to grow up, you have to move out, uh, your children is also growing up, mm-hmm. and then that's why he, my mother said, okay, all the wives will be uh, dedicated only to household chores, taking mm-hmm. uh, care of the children and all these things. So all the wives were removed from business now, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. they are full housewives. Mm-hmm. Once, once the business becomes, uh, I suppose, successful. But umasenso na pagkaya na ng bulsa, oh. then pwede nang mm. uh, bumalik yung misis sa bahay. Yeah, yeah. We have to hire professionals already. Ah, uh, uh, all right, all right. Okay. Um, how do you how do you um, uh, run your business? Is it is this uh, involving your kids as well, or do you let them run their own businesses and and they ikaw, uh, or, or is papel ka, ikaw dun sa rice, ikaw sa call center, etc. Pa- 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 paano ba yan siya? Ano bang dynamics sa Chinese family? You know, uh, I have a lot of siblings now, but only, uh, we used to be four running the business uh, uh-huh. because one of them is a doctor. And uh, and then when I lost one of my brother to the accident, so right now it's only three. And uh, since I'm the eldest now, I mean, uh, I'm the patriarch, and of course I mm-hmm. assume the chairmanship and CEO of the group. And mm-hmm. uh, I have a brother who's in charge of our retail outlets, you know, with uh, 20 plus uh, department stores in the north, Mart mm-hmm. 1 and MI department store. With We're talking about uh, Sterling? We're talking the, the Sterling Paper Group. Yeah. The Sterling Paper Group, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, okay. it, it's, a, it's a family corporation uh-huh. among, mm-hmm. among the siblings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and the products is, of course, you, you used to have a Sterling bookstore here and uh, I, I used to see one. Uh, or no 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 sterling paper yung binibili ko ng grade school sterling notebook yeah oh notebook oh yes, yun, mm-hmm. yun ang binibili ko mm-hmm. so you have a retail shop in yes, the provinces yes uh, we have expressions outlets around 45 expressions outlets yeah. bumibili ako ng card doon eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> sa girlfriend ko <laughs> bumibili sa, sa expression yes. mm-hmm. okay so how 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 is this business right now how is expressions uh, doing I remember I think if I'm not mistaken parang d- did you have a a, a PBA basketball player uh, who modeled, or was it Mikey Kuang or somebody back mm-hmm. back in the eighties? Pasta anyway, uh, expressions. Yeah. Was it Mikey Kuang or Chris Aquino? I, I, I forgot. We used a lot of uh, endorsements oh, at that time. Oh, oh. Even our jingle was uh, composed by uh, Joe Marichan. Yeah, Joe, uh, Joe Marichan. Yes, uh, no. That's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, your your main business now is. Uh, st- uh, the rice. Because you don't see it. But of course, the Sterling Paper is uh-huh. a flagship company. Of course, uh, the rice came very much later. No? That was uh-huh. way back in, that was, uh, 1998. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Let's put things uh, into like uh, proper uh, mm. structure. No, Let's talk about your children. Everything, uh, all of your children are involved in business? Uh, yes, uh, and no, of course, uh, my, my, my second daughter, uh, mm-hmm. she finished her, uh, master's in Yale, and then, uh, of course, the wife is a, uh, the wife, the husband is a doctor of medicine, uh-huh. so then the States right now, he used to work in Cleveland Clinic right now, and he's, uh, with, uh, Tampa, Florida, with a hospital there, so my second daughter is there, but my, my eldest daughter is helping me. My uh-huh. son is also helping me. Uh-huh. So, yung isang anak mo nasa abroad. Yes. Oh, kasi oh, Yale. You know, she she must be very intelligent to to have uh, to have gone is, to that uh, Ivy League school. She is an Ateneo graduate. Uh, uh-huh. Of course, uh, you know, I'm, I came from UP, but unfortunately, none of them uh, uh-huh. graduated from UP. No? <laughs> two, two from Ateneo, three from uh-huh. Lasal. Uh-huh. Oh, nga, sir. Kayo, you're you're. Uh, a very successful Chinese businessman, and uh, you finished at UP. I'm a, I'm a Filipino Chinese. Oh, Filipino Chinese, Chinese Filipino. Yeah. A Filipino Chinese oh. businessman, and uh, mm-hmm. finished at UP. I'm just curious. How come there are no Filipino or any businessman 
nag-graduate sa UP na hindi tinutulungan yung basketball team ng UP. Are you are, are, are you even considering to help them at least win an uh, a championship ring? Kasi ang feeling ko ang kulang doon pondo eh. I, I I think UP has a lot of budget, no. The, uh, you know when I was in UP, uh, one of the favorite players Fort Acuña. Uh-huh. You know in engineering, Fort was around 2 years uh, senior than me. Uh-huh. And then can you imagine during uh, important games, I mean uh-huh. uh they still have to take exams. They cannot get exempted or whatever. I mean, as long as UP uh, put their importance in academics, uh-huh. I don't think the uh, the sports will really excel. No, I think the only time that UP was able to do uh, when the UAP was uh, when Benji Paras and uh, Maxano or whatever no, yes, was no. the players there. But after that, it's no more. Yeah, I don't think it's a it's a matter of uh, pondo no, or, or businessman trying to support. It's a matter of the policy of the of the university. Because mm-hmm. sir. Most of the good players, they get courted by mm-hmm. by LaSalle and Ateneo and uh, UST and all recently by NU, no? of course. Uh, with NU, I uh, see. Uh, yeah, um, with with um, yeah, see, yeah. M- Mr. C's, uh, what do you call that sports program, and it has it has created uh, an UAP champion. It has created Bobby Ray Park. It has it has uh, it has produced. Uh, the cheering squad, you know, that that made it to the that became champion this year, no. So, it must be really in the program, no. I think I think uh, if the schools are being run by businessmen, uh-huh. like SM, like Henry C. Senior, Hansi, I mean, you know that basketball is a way of how you also translate uh, as uh, advertising mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, people uh, you will attract more students out to your school uh, with mm-hmm. a very strong basketball team. But since UP uh, is not in the business of attracting uh, more students, uh, you mm-hmm. know, it's very hard to enter into UP during our time. It's, uh, it's uh, 1 out of 20. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. now, I think it's still 1 out of 13. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I don't think, uh, unless they change the policy, you have to ask the president of UP right now if they want to change the policy. All right. Let's go back to your you know, to your life, you know. Uh, so you finished... Uh, grade school in uh, Manila and then high school and then you you went to UP and um, you ran the business at the age of 28 when your father passed no, on. No, 23, 24. 23 yeah. when your uh, father passed on mm-hmm. at a very early, uh, at a very young age, you know, and mm-hmm. you were already taking the, the helm of the Sterling mm-hmm. company. Hindi pa group of companies yun. Mm-hmm. Sterling pa lang. No, no. Sterling yeah. Pa. So I want to ask you um, how is the business doing now, considering that uh, everything is digital? You know, like the, we have the cell phones, we have the computer, uh, 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 we have we have a Kindle where you can read a book. Um, how is the the paper business now, and uh, what made you decide to venture into other businesses, like and like uh, uh, the real estate? And the call center, and of course now the the hybrid rice. But before you answer those questions, now let's let's play one of your favorite songs. This is "Love Me Tender" by Elvis Presley. What makes this one of your favorite songs? Well, Elvis Presley was during my time, and uh, "Love Me Tender." I think uh, it's uh, it's easy to sing and it's <laughs> easy to remember, and uh, uh-huh. it's uh, easier for you to express your girlfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> and. Uh, who was that girlfriend? <laughs> I guess that's the question. Who was that girlfriend uh, who you they, they, dedicated they, this song to? All def- of them? Definitely. Uh, my wife is not my first girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so all of them, para safe. <laughs> Elvis Presley. And uh, Love Me Tender. You're still listening to podcast.ph. This is the program called Martin's Man Cave. My name is Martin Andanar. And uh, together with us right now is Dr. Henry Lim Bonleong, the chairman of the Sterling Group of Companies, uh, including uh, the Agritech. A- uh, was it, was it S? S-L, S-L. Selling. S- Selling is the name of my father. Selling. Uh, Agritech Corporation. Agritech uh, Corporation, which uh, produces uh, hybrid rice seeds. Here it is. Uh, Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley is dedicated to all 
the girls that uh, Mr. Henry Lim <laughs> had loved before. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, to your wife, one and only, right? Uh, yes. uh, uh, loyalty. Yeah. Lo loyalty is number one. Loyalty, obedience. Um, I I'm trying to remember. Patience. Oh, you told me already. Patience and generosity, right? I'm trying to remember that. Uh, all right. So the, the question earlier was, you ran the business at the age of 23, 24. You, you were so young by then. and well, Even when uh, I was in high school, I was already helping the family. Yes, exactly. The, the um, business. And then you took up your, your undergraduate a course at the University of the Philippines, but your father graduated from the School of Hard Knocks. So basically, he learned everything by himself and he was running the, the business. Um, do you think it would have been differently ran or it would have been diff uh, more difficult to expand it when your father, if if your father were alive and you were still running it? Because, of School of Hard Knocks, you're from UP. No, uh, no, Martin, do you know that uh, during my uh, my high school days, my senior days, my Mm -hmm. My father actually was uh, convincing me very, very hard to take up economics at that time. Okay. Because mm -hmm. uh, at that time, you know, economics uh, professors mm -hmm. uh, earn so much money per hour, mm -hmm. and then they are being looked upon with prestige. And mm -hmm. you know, my father said, "No, oh, took up economics mm -hmm. because he's not really a college graduate." And uh, you know what I told my father? My father, said, I told my father that economics that's that's only supply and demand. I mean, there's no challenge there. Okay, you take up marketing since we are in business. Mm -hmm. So we go marketing. So uh, that that's only buy and sell. So parang sa palengke lang mm -hmm. buy and sell marketing mm -hmm. yun. Eh. Mm -hmm. O management na lang. Management that that's only <laughs> what na? you know. No lang eh. it's not it's not even rocket science. It's just simple. Just ano eh. uh, mm -hmm. ano lang yun. So we go. I, it's really no challenge. No, it's just common sense. I mean. Mm -hmm. So I took up engineering. That's the most difficult course in UP. Mechanical. Mechanical at that time. Mm -hmm. So did it even help you in the business? Uh, in the factory, siguro? To, to tell you frankly, uh, Martin, after I graduated mechanical engineering, do you know I cannot even interpret a balance sheet? There's no accounting course in marketing. Okay. In engineering, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. You know, I have to take up accounting for non-accountants. Uh -huh. uh, you know, that's why uh, after I graduated from UP, I find a lack. A lot of lacking, you know, and uh, doing business, and then uh, even management, management like personal management. You know, I always uh, stand by here. In uh, you will find me from six o'clock up to eight o'clock in Padre Fara in Ateneo. At that uh -huh. time, Ateneo was still in Padre Fara. Wow. I took up all the small courses that Ateneo was offering at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, I even took up Del Carnegie uh, at one mm -hmm. time, and that's how you enrich. Uh, how do you how you enrich yourself? I mean, uh, I read a lot of books. I have a lot of idol also. My first idol at that time uh, was Ak Akio Morita, actually, of Sony. Mm -hmm. Walkman? Then, yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. of his Sony transistor radio, Walkman, and all yeah. these things. You mm -hmm. know, later on, I I, I think uh, Matsushita, uh, Konosuke Matsushita, Panasonic, is even better than, mm -hmm. than uh, Morita because uh, he's not even... He's only an elementary graduate, no? and he was able to expand his business even beyond audio, mm -hmm. visual... It's in air conditioning, almost all uh, electronics. And, of course, uh, along the way, you find so many uh, idols there that you are, uh, you know, you know, it's so, I know, uh, I, I never think about Steve Jobs before. Mm -hmm. But one night, when I returned back home, I saw two of my my daughters, very sad, actually. I said, why are you looking so sad? I said, Dad, do you know Steve Jobs uh, just passed away today? So I said, so what's that got to do with you? <laughs> and then the next morning, when I saw the newspaper, I saw that people paying homage to Steve Jobs. So mm -hmm. I start trying to uh, look at the lives of Steve Jobs, and I find a lot of, uh, of commas among me and Steve Jobs, of course. Uh, you know, Steve mm -hmm. Jobs is really an entrepreneur, true and true. Mm -hmm. I'm also an entrepreneur. You know, I've been uh, going around. I mean, I've been invited by at, uh, La Salle Graduate School, Ateneo, talk to, to talk about entrepreneur business and even AIM. So I said, what's an entrepreneur? I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. To enter. I can never be a good professional manager. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to hire me to become Prizes Incorporated, Central Bookstore Incorporated, Expression Stationery Shop Incorporated, SP Properties Incorporated, SL Agritech Corporation, Sterling Global Call Center Incorporated, 
LSL Corporation and SL Hybrid Rice Research Center Incorporated. Our guest finished uh, his grade school at the Crusaders Academy Manila in 1963 and high school at the Latron College Manila in 1967. He took up his uh, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering at the University of the Philippines in 1972 and uh, postgraduate uh, executive YouTube or SoundCloud.com accounts. So just type Podcast PH. Please add, like, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Our guest today was known as the paper or stationary king before he ventured into the hybrid rice business, among many other businesses, which even made him more wealthy. But what is a revelation is his desire to help the needy farmers of this country. Dr. Henry Limbon Leon was born on September 4, 1951, in Manila. His parents are Lim Seling, courses at the Harvard Business School in 2003 up to 2005. He finished there uh, the owner and president management program and at the University of Asia Pacific in 1992 a a program on strategic business economics. Uh, He also has a a Doctor of Humanities honoris causa at the Foundation University in 2013 and also received another one, a Doctor of Science at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines in 2014. Among the many awards uh, our guest received can you adjust the frequency and volume a bit? Volume a bit? Startups, originators, musica, cultura, the arts, politica, sports, news, technology, crime, tragedy, comedy, lahat ng makabuluhan. We are your independent podcast content creator, straight from the Philippine Islands. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. You're listening to podcast.ph. Welcome to the 26th episode of Martin's Man Cave on podcast.ph. You may listen to us through several ways, and one is by going to our official website, podcast.ph. You can also download us on iTunes. Just type podcast.ph programs or go to our... And Maria Ko. He has six siblings, namely Joseph, Willie, Charlie, Jerry, Ruben, and Evelyn. He is married to Rita Ong, and they have five children namely Michelle, Cherry, Christopher, Hazel, and Pauline. Currently Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Sterling uh, Paper Group of Companies, which is a diversified super business engaged in manufacturing of paper products, importation and distribution of school and office supplies, furniture, retailing, call center, real estate development, and agriculture. The group is comprised of the following corporations. Sterling Paper Products and Inter-